perspective because the perspective it's built for rotation and see how the things look like so I'm fine I'm satisfied make sure that your object look just so having those lines like so and um, then unbox I'm gonna click right button and I'm gonna say editable poly and what I just did I just create the basic 3d shape into the uh, editable poly which means that uh, I can extrude and basically change the shape of that 3d object I can apply some geometry to make it more complex geometry and that's what it stands for that's what we need to uh, uh, put it in editable poly and when you select an editable poly over here there is a plus sign if you're gonna click left button of your mouse on it it's gonna bring you the vertex edge border polygon and element and let me go ahead and just show you what it's all about what is vertex vertex if you're gonna click on it it's gonna bring some dots as you can see over here uh, it brought some dots for us and uh, vertex it's one dot like over here everywhere is dots okay vertices it's one more than one dot so I'm gonna say all those blue it's vertices then next edges edges that's those lines which is brought us uh, segments that's called edges in 3d okay then borders when I'm gonna talk about borders polygons polygons that's what we're going to talk about it in our subdivision um, tutorial about vertices and polygons polygons is basics um, squares so we uh, on your model and um, or triangles that's how your 3d model object based from triangles and squares so this is all called polygons okay so you need to convert to editable poly to be able to work with vertices or vertices with ver vertex or vertices which is dots let me go back see like dots or the polygons which is the sides that's what we're looking to uh, in this video tutorial elements it's when you click and the whole object selected the whole that element okay so you got an idea and polygons just a simple squares or triangles in this tutorial which is going to work with the squares and um, in some other 3d it could be a triangles as well because square can be split into two triangles for complex geometry but we're not going to discuss about the basic subdivision method 101 in 3d max so that's why we need to convert to editable poly all right so next um, next we're going to use um, some basic tools which is those on top which if you're gonna click uh, back to editable poly it's going to and no polygons or vertices selected uh, we can work with the whole model the whole object as well as over here polygons vertices you can select over here or just selecting by clicking on those icons same thing all right so um, if you're gonna click over here select and move this icon right here it's gonna say select and move and you can s select and move your object in 3d space this guy right here select and rotate you can rotate in 3d space and this guy right here it's uni select and uniform scale you can basically scale the object and that's what we need to do we need to click make sure we at editable poly so we're gonna work with the whole uh, model and um, this is a 3d model our cube is 3d model and then uh, select and select and uniform scale and then scale it by Y in this case because it's PCB it needs to be like a board so PCB board so like about so okay and uh, you can see it scaled on all our uh, viewports and we can double check what we have on our perspective view so we are fine over here 
So we just got a basic shape of our memory, but now we need to bring some details. We need to bring some holes to memory holder to hold the memory on the motherboard, like over here. And we need to bring this hole so it's gonna stuck, uh, so we can stick it into the socket. So we need to bring one hole from over here, one from over here, same holes, and then one from over here. So as a hardware guru guy, I know that this side is smaller than this one and this one is bigger. That's this build for you to put the memory only in one way. It's not going to fit in the socket in the other way, in memory socket. So we, we are going to bring those two holes from this side and then we're going to bring this one hole from over here. So I'm going to go ahead and work to bring some holes uh, from the sides. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and select the vertex over here or over here all right so we have all vertices and uh, in our front view we're going to select those two lines of vertices then using the uniscale tool we're going to scale it make sure they scale in one axis which is y in this case on my front to get the result something like this Okay, so why we need so? Because we're going to work later on with those polygons to make the holes, and I'm going to explain to you later, you will see. So go ahead and do that. So this is the strategy to make a holes, and the hole is going to be placed somewhere over here, and comes on uh, these holes right here. Okay, so after we moved it like so, and scale it like so. Make sure it's scaled only in one axis and it's look like so, like perfect like like so. You can always um use your perspective view, I'm sorry, perspective view and um see what's going on. Always check your model. Make sure that you didn't do any mistakes and you didn't scale in two different axes that you don't want. Alright, so that's what we want. Next we're going to switch to polygons by clicking on the icon or over here, doesn't matter as you can see, or on the icon. And then we're going to select some polygons. So let me go ahead and teach you how to select the polygons. You can see you can select one polygon with your mouse. When you would like to select multiple polygons, you need to use um, your keyboard and I'm running today Windows operating system as you can see. So on Mac you're about to use you need to find out how to use the same control. I believe it's Mac key or something like so. Uh find out which is control for PC equal to Mac. Use that key. And by holding the control button on my keyboard, I can multi select. As you can see, polygons. So that's what we're gonna do. We are going to select from this side here and from this side over here and we're going to keep that space over here. We're not going to select those two polygons. Why? Because we're going to extrude. We're going to extrude and uh, that's how we're going to make our hole. We're going to subdivide basically by extruded. So I selected from both sides and as you can see it's red, those polygons red on any other my viewports and using my perspective I can see exactly which Okay, the next one thing what I'm gonna do uh, without deselecting them without deselecting as you can see I'm using the orbit tool to rotate uh, my model I'm going to scroll down and find the extrude and uh, click on settings on this little triangle, black triangle. Click on it and um, it's going to give me ability to extrude, uh, to extrude the polygons uh, if so selected. And yes, they are selected and by 10, it's assumed default by 10 and your program can be different settings. Um, as you can see, it's extruded and it's make that hole for our memory okay but um, it's a little bit too um, I would say 
too much and uh, you can apply uh, by 5 instead of 10 and click enter it's going to be less okay click OK and you can see we already created um, this holes from each side uh, for memory to stick in memory uh, uh, um, socket okay uh, let's say that I would like to make it ex uh, less it's too much still too much what I'm gonna do I can go to vertex and uh, select in my front view port select those lines of vertices let me explain show it to you on the perspective view which ones those on the sides and on this side as well holding control button uh, multi select all right and as you can see I just selected on a site and how to deselect uh, some vertices you need to hold the alt button on your keyboard and let's say I don't like the top vertices and you can see that mouse uh, the symbol minus and by holding alt button I deselecting the vertices that I need but for this case I need that vertice so control again and that plus sign on my mouse cursor select it back and now I'm gonna go ahead and use the scale tool and I can reshape it a little bit but, but make sure you're working with only one axis in this case it's going to be axis X make it longer or shorter a little bit shorter like so alright you can see I'm adjusting and readjusting easily uh, same way as I did with extrude but I can come back and uh, using my vertices I can move them and scale them alright so this will do so we just created um, then I'm gonna go back to orbit tool so I can rotate also you can zoom in zoom out using your mouse on your uh, using your scroll uh, mouse button on your mouse and uh, on the or for those who doesn't have the scroll on the mouse they can use zoom tool right here and they can just select the tool and then holding left mouse of your button zoom in and zoom out or on the touchpad on your laptop holding the uh, button zoom in zoom out okay so uh, as you can see pretty much I created the holes now I'm gonna create that hole right here and please keep in mind that this video tutorial will be split uh, on YouTube into multiple parts so go ahead please watch them all and please um, if you like this video uh, rate my high quality work so more people can see this this video tutorial as a free for you folks to learn and skill up alright so now I'm gonna make that hole right here and how I'm gonna do this well uh, it's pretty much uh, easy to do what I'm gonna do in the vertices again select the vertex I'm gonna select this line of vertices and I'm going to move like so okay as you can see because it's not in the middle it's a little bit on the side and now I'm going to have this polygon right here and when I'm gonna extrude it if I'm gonna look at from the uh, bottom and it's going to be this polygon right here those two when I'm gonna extrude this part I'm gonna extrude every single polygon from the bottom like those instead and I'm, I'm not going to touch those two so it's gonna create again the whole same thing as we did on the sides so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select the polygons and I'm gonna show you the real method how I'm selecting the polygons fast so you don't have to go and select one by one what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use one of my viewports I'm gonna go ahead and select polygons and it's gonna select the sides and the bottom at the same time as you can see right but uh, I would like to select only um, the bottom part so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and deselect the sides using my alt key my, you can see an icon it's minus and then 
with my left mouse button, I'm 